Hey guys, this is PMR Bones88, and today for my next horror slasher movie review is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. The returning director, Toll Popper, directed his second movie. So this movie is like, it's like a horror comedy spoof movie. It's not like all scary, it's not all horrifying. Well, it is horrifying just a bit, but this movie is like, it's an okay movie just to watch and entertain. But later on, it's just like all, f all humorous and too much comedy that's going on. Leatherface is now much more chainsaw, horny, crazy massacre now. And especially when he does that stupid dance. But to me, I call it is the chainsaw dance. I call it the chainsaw dance because he does this like every scene, every single scene. He does that to every movie. He always does. He does it like he's like he's fucking King Kong or something. So up to like beginning of this movie, it's like about it's like now I'm um, two guys that just like shoot everything. They shoot either a mailbox or a sign, and then later on during the night time, they run to um the truck driver, which apparently, of course. Guess who's holding the chainsaw? It's like some sort of a dead corpse. <laughs> a dead corpse like messing around with the chainsaw, but however, guess who's behind the black cloak? It's Leatherface. Leatherface is actually using the corpse to control the chainsaw and just like busts on the car and then busts on the guy's top of his head. Like you see all like his top of his head like falling down. You see the brain like getting all gush down and all the blood and all the effects that's <laughs> like so effective like the effects are like kind of cheesy but it's very good very fun to watch and see the blood coming out of the guy's head that's like funny of all this movie also stars um dennis hopper who plays the sheriff who is actually like much more of a a vengeance sheriff who wants revenge on leatherface so what he does he goes to the goes to the hardware shop and all he buys like is three chainsaws one he has that is on in his hand and the other two that are strapped into his belt the other two are like kind of little so so when he buys all three of those chainsaws he like goes all crazy I mean this guy like goes all crazy and all nuts when he uses that chainsaw like he using it as a freaking axe like this guy you don't want to mess with him and also the radio talk show host, which is played by Carolyn Williams, who's actually like, um, almost like the main character as well. I mean, the two main characters are the sheriff and the radio talk show host. So she's actually um, like in the middle, like in the bell between good and evil. Well, crazy to psychomaniac. <laughs> So she um, runs in, after when she um, gets out of the radio station, she mess up, meets up this other guy who's like complete, almost decomposing as well, which is introduced by um, Chop Top. Chop Top is one sick, twisted maniac who has this um, metal plate he always picks on with a hanger. At first I thought it was um, the hitchhiker from the first one who survived, well, who actually got ran over by a truck, but it wasn't. This is um, this is actually um his twin brother. If you read the character's um uh, blog or the character's info, that's actually like his twin brother from the Vietnam. So, anyways, um, in the radio station scene, when Chop Top like bugs the radio show host um, named Stretch, he like bothers her, and then later on he goes into the music room. Guess who's there? Leatherface like comes out and shows, like hits him with the chainsaw right into his head, and starts like going after the other, going after Stretch. And for some reason, when he gets to her, he like he somehow seduced seduced her with the chainsaw. Like goes all nuts and looks like he's masturbating or something. So Leatherface now has like a, a love interest. And later on, he goes all nuts and he, he does this weird, stupid, like he's humping on his chainsaw or like, like he's horny or something. <laughs> it looks like he's horny for some reason. That's like, okay, that's, 
that's enough for that. That's kind of disturbing, but the returning cats, of course, which is the old man, of course, aka known as the cook, he returns. He returns from the first film. So almost up up to that very ending, there's this huge epic battle between the sh between the sheriff and Leatherface. Well, before everything happened, um, the sheriff like goes all nuts and just like bring everything down, which is their lair, their new lair, not the house, not the old abandoned house from the first one. They live some sort of deep underground with the, which is some sort of a cave or something that they made for themselves at least live and hide for a while. So up to that, they, both Leatherface and Sheriff like go saw to saw, I must say. <laughs> they go saw to saw at each other and then the Sheriff like shoves some, shoves that chainsaw right through Leatherface's stomach. Like goes right to his stomach and almost to his back. That's like, oh my God, holy shit. That's like, oh my, that's like, Awesome, but Leatherface he, he he still ha he still lives and he tries to like finish the sheriff off, but then he picks up two of his two of his um handy chainsaw and just like like almost like Raphael's size from Ninja Turtles, and Leatherface still has that big chain still has that chainsaw right in his stomach. I mean this guy could take it so up to that very ending where the old man like hides under under the table and grabs a grenade tries to um blow everything up including including the sheriff but almost up to that very ending the cave like blows up and we're not sure if Leatherface is dead or alive but he must have escaped from that so this film is actually it's actually much more hilarious. It's not all scary or anything, but it's a it's a good movie just to entertain us. So I would give it like um 75 out of 100. I mean, due to the lack of acting and the lack of the plot as well, and including with the um, poster, as you can tell, they did a similarity to the Breakfast Club. In case of um you guys didn't notice, but. This movie, it's an okay to watch. I mean, I own the movie on DVD. I'm not sure I'm gonna get it on Blu-ray, but it's an okay movie to watch. So, so for my um next horror slash movie review that I'll be talking about next time is Leatherface: The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Three. And this is PMR Bones eighty eight signing off. Is saying is peace.